What's up, YouTube? It's Chris from Chris Glides, and I'm here at Eisenhower York, Harley Davidson in Pennsylvania, and I'm on my way up to Cayuga Lake Scenic Byway to do one of the Harley Davidson's 50 Rides, 50 Nations Challenges. And um, this is just one of our stops that we stopped at, and I'm here with uh, our friends, Jimmy and Tracy, that we're always here with, and uh, we're just taking a quick stop, and then we'll be back out on the road Thanks for riding with us once again for another episode of Chris Glide. So stay tuned because who knows where we're going to go next. We're going in, check things out, see what it looks like in here. It's pretty windy outside. So I'm here with uh, Jimmy and Tracy as usual. They're along. I'm along with them on the ride, and Jimmy put this together. It's Tracy and Jimmy, you guys. So we're up in here going into Eisenhower, York, Harley Davidson in Pennsylvania. You're gonna like this one. Right and um, Jimmy was saying that there's a museum in here. So check it out. Hi. Good. Pan America. And the street glide. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow, look at these bikes. Museum. Steel climbers. Oh, yeah. yeah. They had something like this at, um, when we were in Milwaukee. Like that same one, like you said, with the hill climber thing. Pretty cool. It's, it's, it's 1920. Wow. <laughs> Look at the order, how they calibrate it. <laughs> when you sit and digest the history and like you were showing like the equipment back there and stuff like that yeah but just to do everything and calibrate the equipment like with the headsets and all the stuff that they had you can kind of see like the not just the history of the museum here but just like what we went through in time like technology and stuff like that and guess when you have a Harley, you have a piece of uh, an American pie, the, the history, the dream, the technology advancement. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> this thing still looks like it can go. Never had hardly been this some beer. That's 
Alright guys, it's uh, day one. We're about to adventure out to the Cayuga State or Cayuga Lake something park, but we're about to ride out and um, we're here up in Pennsylvania and um, the weather is cold, I'm pretty sure, but just looking out the window, I don't know if you guys can see, I switched the camera around. It doesn't look as windy as it did yesterday on the ride up and um, we should have a better ride. It was, well, actually it was a really nice ride on the way up. It was windy and cold, but it was so clear and beautiful out that it didn't matter. So just about to get Jimmy and Tracy, or they're probably down there waiting for me. But um, <laughs> they're probably down there waiting for me, I'm late. But um, we're gonna get some breakfast, decide about, decide what kind of routes we're gonna take or what we're going to do based upon the weather, the rain, rain is weather, but based upon the cold and the rain and um, see if we want to soldier it or not. It's going to be like 28 degrees with rain. I don't know. It's kind of fun, though. <laughs> All right. There's Jimmy. He's out and uh, about to get some food. Hey, Jimmy, good morning. The bikes are out. There's Tracy. Good morning. Hi. How you doing today? Good. Good. Big crowd here today. I know. <laughs> Hi. All right. So we're at the Hilton in Mansfield and about to get some of this good continental breakfast and head out on the road and um, see what the weather has for us in store for a great adventure. Cool, you want cool, one too, cool. Greg, you want yes, thank you. So we're gonna get out here regardless of how cold it is. It's supposed to rain. I think the rain changed to be six o'clock, right? Yeah, it's gonna be later. Well, it's still not gonna but, rain in New York. It's gonna rain here. Yeah. So so, gotta, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put the radar on. You definitely about, gotta be about right here before five. Yeah, I'll, I'll have the radar on about. No, that's okay. We gonna rain, snow, sleet. <laughs> we, we, don't do it all. Hey, don't we, we got insurance, but some things are uninsurable. uninsurable. I told Jimmy we should have. Uh... So the bikes are over there underneath the shelter. It was pretty windy. And um, Jimmy strapped his um, cover down on his bike pretty good, but his cover is missing off of his bike. So hopefully we can find it. All right, so we're going outside. Oh man, it is uh, pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna freeze today. So we're just out here looking for Jimmy's cover. We're out here with no coats on too, so. Yeah, it does feel better in the sunlight. Oh yeah, but add the wind of the bike to it. <laughs> no, nah, I'm gonna gear up. I'm gonna gear up. I'm gonna put everything on, and then I can just always, you know, take stuff and move it off. So the wind was blowing this way yesterday, but uh, kind of like the football players do in the pregame. They come out. They get on the field. They don't have their equipment and their gear on and they're throwing the ball back and forth, trying to get ready for the big game. I'm just out here <laughs> walking around looking for Jimmy's cover and uh, pre-gaming with no coat on. I'm gonna put on the um, Harley Davidson um, pants, heated pants, 
I'll put on a heated jacket. I'm gonna put on my heated um, socks. I have my gloves, but I'll put my heated gloves in my have my heated gloves in my um, in my uh, my sword pack, and um, just you know have everything available. So it'll be a fun day today, regardless. So we just want to get one of these uh, check-in points. We're gonna check in at several dealers, and then we're gonna check in at that Cayuga um, Lake. It's like a state park or something like that. And that's where one of the 50 for 50 challenges is. I keep saying it wrong, but uh, I'll probably have a picture posted in the, in the video of the little book check mark. And you guys who are familiar with it already know what it's about. All right, guys, I'm geared up and ready to roll. Everybody's probably outside waiting for me as usual. And, um, gonna get out here in this cold weather so the first stop we're gonna make is at Eisenhower Harley Davidson I think that's what it is and uh, we're gonna go there meet some people look at some stuff find me some new Harley Davidson boots and um, see if I can get something that's better equipped for this cold and uh, keep it moving so we're just gearing up Jimmy's packing his bag out this is a lot neater than mine <laughs> What's that? My, my tour pack looks like a tornado hit it. Oh, no. So, but yeah, uh, we are ready to roll and um, I geared up. Got on all my uh, HD heated gear, plug in gear, and um, it comes in handy. But um, hopefully, I don't need it until on the way back. But um, this would be a good time.
crab. <laughs> so, tell me about y'all. Who are y'all, and what are y'all doing way up here in Pennsylvania? Well, well first of all, this, this, I'm Jimmy, and this is my wife, Tracy. And we're hanging with you. <laughs> Pulled you out in some warm weather that, that come ride with us. Hey, we're doing a 50 states ride up to uh, Cuyahoga, to Cuyahoga Lake, Lake, New York. York. Uh, it's one of the 50 states rides for for Hark. And uh, we're just gonna hit that New York chip today and hit three uh, three dealer check-ins. We're at the first one, which is a uh, Tiaga Country, Eisenhower's. Uh, of course, I have a bike issue like I normally have every time we go out. And uh, but but yeah, we're gonna. It's 39 degrees right now. Just, uh, yeah. And see, if we would have uh, just the fitting for the. Uh, yeah, my bag keeps it came loose twice, so I don't need that falling between New York and, and Maryland. So see, if we were down south, we could be on the beach right now. But oh, no, whatever. We had to come whatever. up mountainside so. to the snow. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing we got Harley Davidson certified technicians. So, They're gonna get it all hooked up. This, yeah. See, this is the one that you have. Uh -huh. This is why like a stock one. You see how short it is. Okay. Do you have? Is there any reason that it is this long one? No, I don't think so. Okay. Brother, as long as it work, I'm, I'm good. Oh, man, you money. I'm going to say... I'm probably going to need one in the back, too, if it's the same. I mean, you mind checking them all in? Yeah, let me just... This one's in. Well, yeah, that, but that, that it was just this one that yeah, came out. I'm going to just... I had that in my toolbox. Man, so I appreciate just, you, man. No worries. All right. Hey, look, hey, hey well, while we're doing our YouTube video, you want to... Can, can we say thank you yeah, for that? Shout out to Rob. To, to Rob. Hook me up. <laughs> I appreciate it, Rob. Oh man. You know, little minor things like that happen when you vlog a lot of miles and stuff like that. You can show how many thousands of miles you got on your bike on different road trips and stuff. Yeah, so 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 this year we're gonna do fifteen thousand on the riding season. Our, my riding season uses April first through October first because I because I hunt from October on. But oh, yeah. but uh, we had uh we got six trips planned uh, out uh, out of state, fifty states uh, rides. And uh, we'll do about 15k this year. So this is going to be almost a thousand k this weekend. So, so yeah, this is the shortest of the, the trips we're going to take. So Tracy, what do you have to say about all this? Besides being cold and complaining all day. Besides <laughs> that, I'm probably looking like a polar bear because I am so layered up to make sure I do not feel any ounce of coldness. So I'm walking and moving mechanically. Yeah. She been but complaining all day. Bro. I have not started, right? I have not complained at all. I have. You haven't heard me say a word because I'm already well, layered up. Dragging me. So, what's your favorite part about all the rides that we take? My, well, my favorite part is always, of course, uh, when we're riding in a group, especially riding with you. Uh, I mean, I, I enjoy it because we get a chance to, you know, just to talk to each other and, and uh, you know, just kind of kind of fellowship and, uh, you know, break bread and, you know, do what we do, man. It, yeah. But it, it's always, a, it's just always a good time. And also, I like, you know, riding in roads, seeing scenery, country roads, man, seeing part of America I just haven't seen. And yeah. so I try to pick places that we have not been to. So, so yeah, that's that's my favorite right. part. And my favorite part is the same thing. I like the openness. I didn't think I would really enjoy it, but I really do. And I enjoy the company. I'm already always a little sad, even when we get we in, leave. Yeah. when we end the ride, everybody has to go their own separate way. I'm like, oh, everybody's gone. So I really enjoy the, the friendship and the family that we have on in this yeah. circle. So what makes what makes you loyal to Harley Davidson and not any other brand bike? Okay. Like what are some of the, the benefits of Harley ownership? Okay, so, so when I was younger, I had several. I had several when I was younger. So I was a sports bike guy. I started with the uh, the VFR 1000 R, which is which is crazy. No, I take it back. I had a KZ 1000 was my first one, which was a Kawasaki. Yeah. Then I had a. I went to Honda, which was a VF 1000 R. And then I went to Suzuki. I had a GS, GS, GSXR eleven fifty at the time, and uh, I guess I got older and started having a family. And it just it's a different it's a different style. So uh, I will say this: Harley is not cheap, but uh, it's almost like uh, it's worth it. It's though. worth it because I could pack you know a weekend's worth of stuff or a week's worth of stuff. We get to the point we just we ship stuff back and we go past a week or whatever. Or she'll fly out and meet me at the destination. Yeah, because you see, Chris, you know these saddlebags. He only gives me two of them. Well, that's all you we don't have but two saddlebags <laughs> we don't have but two so, saddlebags you know, well, you should see what I got. So this is always an issue for me I only get both of these and that's not enough room and that's so, so if you were on one of the Kawasaki's and Suzuki's oh forget that man oh, no, no, forget we that, that. So, now Les, now you had a gold wing one time didn't you have a gold wing yeah 
Yeah, I had a gold wing, but the thing about it is, like today, you know, a little small issue, we could stop at a Harley Davidson dealership. Yeah, yeah, Did yeah. anything done? Did it cost you anything today? No, nah, man, they, they they see you from out of town. They just, no matter where we, this is like the third time we've done that, we were out of town. And I, I think I was with you at least three of the times. And they just hook it up, man. They just put, you know, fix you up, put you back on the road and says, you know, thank you. And that's it, man. So uh, that's why I like Harley because they're they're brand they're brand friendly. Uh, they treat their their customers right. They try to make it right all always. And no matter where you are, man, as long as you got that Harley brand, they'll jump right on you. Right. Right. Yeah. So you know, it's a holiday or Easter weekend um, here in the U.S. and anywhere around the world. I think anytime you see another person with another Harley Davidson or anywhere you go, there's always some kind of uh, brotherhood or camaraderie. As long as you have the uh, Harley Davidson gear or bike on, mm -hmm. it's like an instant bond or brothership or sistership. So, you guys have been in um, the Harley Owners Group for quite a, quite some time too, right? No, we've been in uh, for three years now. At Is least it three, three? It's like three years now. Yeah, yeah, three three years. So many people. We got a lot of Harley lot of family now. Family yeah. everywhere we go. Yeah. We even so, make new friends everywhere yeah. we go. So what's your roles in the hall chapter that you're in? Well, I'm the assistant director, and Tracy is the activities director. And, Act and the ladies what? of hall. Ladies of hall. Ladies of hall. Is it? Yeah, is there still? Goal. Is there still ladies? Of hall? Yes, there is a ladies. Of is there hall. still ladies of hall? You know, don't, <laughs> <laughs> our ladies will outride some of these men. Don't get no. I didn't say. I didn't say they. I didn't say they did. I didn't say that. I didn't say I, that. Yeah, this my seat. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna get on our way. We're gonna get back. In, we're gonna go inside, visit the dealerships, and get back out on the road so we can have some fun. But you guys, stay tuned and stay with us. And you know, who knows where we're gonna go next? So here we go. Thank you guys. All right. Here. So, you bet. All right. So we're going to go inside the dealership. I'm going to look for a better pair of boots. Um, I know summer's coming up and spring is here, but just for this trip, I think I'm going to just get some anyway. Probably be money well spent. I do have my heated socks on today, so I could probably go without it, but I'm going to just see what they have and make a decision at that point. So. Hey, how's it going? Nice dealerships. They have everything. Very nice motor clothes. Um, very comfortable looking dealership. I love the decor with the, the nice wooden walls and everything. It's beautiful. So. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, great. Yeah. All right, man. So, all right, so let's see what they have. Good morning. Hi, how you doing? Let's see if they have in motor clothes. I'm interested in a lot of different things that I see. There's some cool gear that they have out. Boots. Oh yeah. Oh like Not a bunch of uh boots, but um let's see if I can find anything that's warmer than what I have on. Alright, so that's how we always walk out. Shopping bags, Harley Davidson stores. And um we're gonna get back, geared up, and get on the road and get out got small amounts of wind today so that's going to help a lot as far as keeping us uh keeping us nice and warm we're already sweating in all this gear so good thing is we can take stuff off and put it back on later Right, guys so we stopped at finger lakes harley davidson just short of cayuga lake and we're in new york and we're here and we're about to stop inside of here and just see what they have in this harley davidson dealership and i'm always stopping at different dealerships taking a visit and just seeing how things are 
we got a lot of deer to look out for <laughs> and it's funny because they gotta look out for snowmobile sign and it's pretty cold i'm gonna have to switch out to my gloves that plug in i got my other plug-in gear but i'm definitely gonna have to switch out to my plug-in gloves as it's pretty cool out and i'm comfortable but the windshield on my uh winter gloves with the heated grips i'm still getting like the fingertips and my thumbs frozen a little bit so so i'm gonna go in and see as usual we're greeted at the door with a nice new cvo 25th anniversary with a nice paint job my favorite paint job that there is other than the whiskey neat and also greeted with this new harley davidson um hydroglide and um the other series bikes that I love. So everybody's favorite is the Whiskey Neat. The prices are really dropped. This one's listed at $49.9. And um, I remember these things were going for like 60000 last, not even a year ago. And in the back, there's the Pan America CVO. We did look and do a review on this last week a review without writing but we looked at it and i talked about it i talked about the rogue glide threes very nice bike to have very comfortable you don't even feel like you're on a trike or three-wheeler and um it's one of my favorites that i owned so one of the things that caught my eye right away was this pan america here because of this color and the design of the barn shield that's outlined with a reddish type of orange i have sunglasses on so i can't tell but uh it's really got a lot of accessories that the last owner has put on there and i like it so it's got the uh knobby style tires on there already and i haven't seen any of these with these type of uh rigid style tires those are the kind that i like that i would put on if i had mine and um i love this one here all right so that was a nice dealership to visit again i didn't really see any boot selection that i like but i did see a lot of the uh spring and summer selection of boots that i wanted to wear and it's time to go everybody's gearing up i'm about to go get into these mountains let's go <laughs> All right, so we made it and it's beautiful up here. The air is nice and clean and pure. And we're gonna take a walk, so come with us. So we're gonna go to the Falls Overlook and um, See how nice of a view, scenic view it is. Visitor center.
we rode up there. This oh, yeah. This is so cool. Can't wait to see the falls. It's just right up here ahead. Look at that. Wow. Wait till you guys see this. Holy smokes. Alright, so I left my helmet on and uh, if I fall, I probably, <laughs> no, let me stop saying if I fall, but no, it's a good time to have a helmet on if you lose your, lose your footing. Look at that, how cool is that? How cool is that? Man, look at this. We made it. So we came all the way up here for. All right, so we made it to our destination. And so anything we do now is just extra. I can't wait to get back on the bike, go through some of these mountain trails and just see some of the other historic, like roadways, buildings, old tractors, just different things that you wouldn't normally see in like your small town or wherever you live um i didn't know or couldn't imagine that new york would be this nice way up north like this i didn't know what to think about new york i only see like large buildings superman and spider-man <laughs> so it's definitely something different from what i imagined hello new york YouTube so we just made another stop a dealership check-in at Geneva Harley-Davidson in New York and we're about to go in and see what's in here hi thanks no we got on Harley heated gear So the, yeah, the deal, they were real nice. They went in, they made some fresh coffee for us and put them in real coffee cups. And that was uh, extra special. So they actually had the boots that I wanted to get, the waterproof, like um, cowboy boot style boots, but they weren't in my size. So I'm gonna have to order some online from Harley Davidson and went to three different states looking for them. But that's why shopping online is always, sometimes better 
again when you walk into a dealership you're greeted by these hydroglides and um they really look good in person um it's not my style but if this was my style bike this is the ultimate bike the breakouts followed by the the uh, cvos and the uh road glide sts so good presentation all right so i'm back out in the element nice fresh air up here it's beautiful Time to get back on these things and do some riding. I think we got a few hours to ride back. We're trying to get back before 6 p.m. when the rain is about to start because rain in 28 degrees doesn't match. Alright, so we stopped here at Oak Hill Bulk Foods and we wanted to try and see if we could find something that we could eat from the local areas here. Um, there's no factories around, so not a lot of emissions. So I think that finding something from here would be pretty nice and refreshing to eat. So we're gonna try it out. So fresh made pies over here. Oh my. Try one of these. It's cherry and strawberry. Try that. So they're right in the refrigerator over that way. Okay. Oh yeah.
All right, so we stopped because there's a little bit of rain ahead and uh, we are gonna gear up with some rain gear and keep it moving. We only got about 30 minutes. The problem is that if we um, decide to tough it out, we're gonna be wet in the morning when it's 28 degrees to go back. guys we made it back safe to the hotel and a um, little bit of rain but oh well it ain't a road trip without the rain so <laughs> a little bit of rain just enough to uh, have to wash the bike off really well man it's a good bike trip today and um, not sure if you guys want to stay tuned to the rest of this video I'm about to just go get something to eat at a restaurant called Perkins and then uh, come back, get some rest, jump back on the bikes in the morning, do it all over again. We're gonna do about six hours of riding tomorrow and just have a lot of fun doing it. So stay tuned. All right, back to the lobby and let's look for the Jennies. I see them. There they are right there. <laughs> All right, we're going to Taco Bell. Huh? You want to Taco Bell? No, we're watching the game. <laughs> I'm talking here. I gotta win my team. Gotta win. Oh man, yeah. All right, YouTube day three. Just woke up, refreshed. Um, had my bike packed out and ready to go. 
It's uh, Easter Sunday morning. I got like a four to six hour ride back and um, I'm gonna go in, eat a little bit of food now that the bike's packed up and head out on the road. Happy Easter to you guys. Hope you guys are spending nice quality family time, having fun at church services and everything else. And um, I still got some fun riding to do. Um, I know a lot of the road video is kind of boring to see, but some people like it. Some people like looking at the uh, mountains and scenery here that are people that are located in the city. So a lot of things I'll show anyway. So, but um, thanks for hanging in there if you're still watching the video. If you like my videos, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber, please hit subscribe. It helps as far as um, how YouTube monitors how I'm doing and it helps me get feedback on what I need to do and, and how things are going with the channel. So um, I have some faithful subscribers that's been here for the past two years and I thank you guys for being subscribers to the channel and coming back every time and liking, commenting and um, just sending me messages. So. Anyway, I'm gonna go in, get some food, and be ready to go once uh, everybody's up and out. All right, so this morning, I'm attempting to uh, use the waffle machine. Take a cup, put it under here, fill it up, spray the iron, pour the stuff in, flip it over. It's foolproof. So let's see if um, I'm successful. That style. That style. 